think all the promises of God are great and wonderful and warm, fuzzy hugs of emotional happiness? Guess you were sleeping when your pastor taught you stories from the Old Testament. The children of Israel, time and time again, forsook God and worshipped idols, worthless statutes of wood, stone, and metal. Every time they turned away from God and worshipped Baal and sacrificed children to Moloch, God promised that he would bring discipline on them in the form of an invading army. As horrible as those days of discipline were, God kept his promise. Eventually, the discipline came to an end, and the people repented of their sins. Jesus, in the upper room, after instituting the Lord's Supper, said, In this world, you will have tribulation. What's well, a promise? You're going to have a tough time in this world. Some of that tribulation, some of the troubles and hardships that you face in this world are a direct result of your sin. There might be no wood or stone metal statues in your room that you worship, but that doesn't mean you don't have your own idols so that you fear, love, and trust in above God. You may not be killing babies at abortion clinics, but that doesn't mean you haven't thrown a friend under the bus or hated somebody in your heart. You've violated all the commandments of God at some point in your short little life, and so tribulation has come upon you to discipline you. Other times, tribulations that you are going to face are there because you're a Christian in a hostile world. Let's face it, it is not getting any easier to be a confessing Lutheran in this sinful world that hates Christ and hates you. I don't envy you for having to go to school or to your after-school job. This world has become very openly evil, calling evil good and good evil. Satan's out for you, and the world has joined forces with him. In this world, you will have tribulation. But don't stop listening to Jesus right there. you got to keep going. Take heart. I have overcome the world. It's an even greater promise. Satan's been cast down. Sin's been destroyed. Darkness has not overcome Jesus, but he has overcome it all by his death and resurrection. Even when it seems like this world is winning against Jesus, it's lost. Even when it seems like this world is winning against you, it's lost. You're forgiven. You're saved. Jesus has defeated it all for you. That's the message of Good Friday and Easter. Jesus has overcome the world. Jesus has overcome sin. Jesus has overcome death for you. He's gone to the Father, and one day, he's going to bring you home to him for eternity, and you will have peace. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.